Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've had some more information on salvage gameplay plans as well as supporting systems that Cloud Imperium are currently working on from the Calling All Devs The Road to Salvage video which I will actually link down below. Salvage is broken down into four different types. Hull scraping which is the removing of the outer materials of a ship in a similar way that you mine an asteroid but the exterior of a ship. Valuable component removal which will be done by hand or via tractor beam literally removing a, a weapon or component. The more which is more sort of like sections of ship being broken down and then recycled, so larger recycling of ships, and then siphoning the collection of precious gases like oxygen or liquids and fuels or even data. There are various prerequisites of those salvage mechanics coming to life that are being worked on in various forms now, at least some of them, um, and others are planned. So damage tech will be needed to be updated to reflect salvage mechanics. Persistence work is needed to have salvage sites spawn and then have the correct information and materials attributed to each ship and piece of salvage. They need to create the actual tools for hull scraping. Physicalized component tech is needed to allow for components to actually be removed. This is part of the repair mechanics as well, taking items out, fixing them or replacing them. The larger chunks, more type salvage, they need to work out how to break a ship down into parts that can then be tackled and harvested by something like a reclaimer or a vulture salvage charges might be an option to blast a ship into smaller salvage chunks. Siphoning requires the room system to work correctly to allow for the atmosphere or contents of a container to be extracted or moved. They also need to make sure that these systems can work to get oxygen and atmosphere moving around for life support to function. Fuel tanks need an entry point for extracting or refueling as well. Updated power systems are being worked on now as is physicalized components. So with the power systems, this will actually have power moving correctly between systems and the pipes and connectors and fuses. It's actually power and a few other systems merged together now called Resource Generation and Item Control, RGIC. This is important not only for ships and vehicles, but also stations and structures. The new system looks after all resources that can be consumed by a vehicle or used by them in some way. So power, fuel, ammo, anything else that can be used, consumed or converted by a vehicle and also sort of like looks after their movement between systems as well. Some components will generate or convert resources, some will consume it, some items will also produce heat as a byproduct and that will move around as well. This is going to make engineering as a role incredibly important as ships will quickly have a chain of failures if a vital system or connector goes down and these systems will require fuses to be replaced or the connecting pipes to be repaired or maintained. The design for these systems is done. They have done some prototyping as well and they are working on the technical documentation now for the system to make sure it's fully scalable and appropriate. Once that's been approved they will start bringing it fully to life. There are also hundreds of vehicle items currently being completed and physicalized. Ships have been made at least partly ready, some of them, for physical items with appropriate cupboards and item lockers and the rest of them are being made ready. Currently items shown in ships are mostly faked in various ways. Some items that are internal to ships are actually technically on the outside of a ship at the moment or at least the system thinks they're on the outside so players can't interact with them properly. Actually having the items in ships and having their internal and exterior vehicle systems being able to communicate with each other is what is being worked on now with those physicalized components components. You will be able to change items in a ship and this will have an effect in real time and it's both part of the repair and salvage systems as I said earlier. M removing one of your power plants, if you've got multiple power plants, that's going to cause a effect where you have less power and those systems are getting less power um, and your system knows that it, it has that power plant removed but you can then replace it with a different power plant or the same power plant or destroy all your power plants. It will take a while to get all the items in all of the ships though as there are lots of ships and lots of items. In forms of timeline for completion, they said that they had work scheduled next quarter, which would be July to September, I suspect, um, for more work to physicalize components, though they didn't say if it was intended for physical components to be completed for at least its first stage implementation by then, um, or if it's going to take more quarters. So unfortunately, we don't really have any hard dates. They will then figure out plans for hull scraping. They were trying to work out whether it was sensible to have hull scraping and physical components released at the 
same time to have sort of salvage and a more developed um, gameplay loop straight away or if they sort of release those systems separately as they come online they will then continue to iterate and add to the mechanic in a similar way to they did with mining they are literally working on these systems now but there is no hard dates for when these systems will be completed yet that said as they are working on them now they should be able to give us much more meteor updates and um, uh, tell us a bit more info on how that progress is going from week to week on those mechanics also i actually suspect that the first iteration of salvage we will have will be the removal of physical components by hand and then we'll have sort of like hull scraping a little bit later that makes a bit more sense to me chronologically um at least um have sort of like hand salvage to start with and then um have the the hull scraping a little bit later like the quarter afterwards but what do you think are you looking forward to salvage did you hope that they would give hard times and dates did you expect them to be further along with those gameplay loops when do you think we'll see salvage or the power systems or physicalized components for me if they can get physical components, physicalized components, and the resource management system in game for the end of 2020, I will be pretty happy to be honest um, for those systems. I do want like the dynamic economy and lots of other stuff as well, but I'm, I'm very, very happy with work being done on physical components because it's so important to so many systems, even getting sort of like combat and balance to a lot of the ships and the way the game plays and the flight model, lots and lots and lots of stuff like that really requires physical components to be in game. And I want more gameplays, I think we all do. Whatever your thoughts though, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. In addition to my May monthly giveaway for an arrow, during Fleet Week I'm also giving away a Cutlass Blue with Star Citizen game package that Cloud Imperium Games have have kindly given me for that very purpose. To be in for a chance of winning that, just comment on this video or any made during Fleet Week 2020 on my channel. I would love it if you share this video around as it really does help me, as does support through the YouTube join button or Patreon for people that want to go further. Also, I'm a shill for NordVPN, which I recommend for added internet privacy and security. Also, if you're looking for a gaming PC, instead consider Shadow. They provide cloud gaming PCs that leverage the power of the internet and an affordable monthly subscription instead of having to maintain your own rig. Use the code BoardGamer for discounts, but you can find links to everything down below.